everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology and in this video I'm going to be talking you through how you can come to terms with and manage your exam stress and anxiety during this exam study period. As you know exam preparation and the exam itself can be very stressful and it is completely normal to feel anxious or even overwhelmed at this time but I'm going to be talking you through some strategies to help you to overcome this and take control of those feelings. So sit tight, let me go through five key tips to help you with this. And if you do want an even more detailed guide for free to help you, click the link in the description and you can get a PDF version of that guide. But for now, let's get into it. Number one is to stay organized. Part of the reason that you might feel stressed and overwhelmed, which is completely normal, is the feeling that there is so much to do and so little time and therefore it's just not possible. So if you have a plan in place, it helps to take all of those thoughts out of your mind and put it on paper. And then you can see the plan in action and therefore feel more in control and less overwhelmed. So the sorts of things you could do to stay organized and more plans to help with this is have a revision timetable, have a study tracker, and have a guide or a schedule in place of what you want to achieve each week in the lead up to the exams to make sure all of that is possible. Now, if you aren't sure where to start with that, at all then I have got you. My organizer bundle has a timetable template and a guide of how to fill it in, how to create the best timetable, a study tracker where you can actually log everything you've revised already and it lists everything you need to revise the number of times and suggested activities and then number three a suggestion of what you could revise each week. So those three things used together will take that thought out of your mind follow using all of those you'll be organized strategy in place and that's the first step to try and make it feel less overwhelming tip number two is practicing relaxation techniques and what works for you will be different from the next person so try a range of different things and see what helps you best relax some ideas that you might want to try are different breathing techniques and you can just simply google breathing techniques for relaxation and you'll get a whole list of ideas of what you could follow could be meditation that is really effective for some people it could be things like yoga pilates a gentle stroll or it could be things like asmr videos on youtube so find what works for you and make sure that you have in your daily schedule at least one or two slots where you dedicate it to your relaxation technique and then have an extra slot at the end of the day when you finish all your revision for that relaxation technique before you then enjoy the rest of your evening. Now if you do follow something like breathing techniques that might be quite a good one because then when you're in the actual exam if you do find that you get panicked at any point you can take a minute do your breathing techniques calm yourself down again and then carry on. So give those a go to calm your mind, reduce anxiety, and to help you to focus and improve in your revision as best as possible. Tip number three is stay connected. Revision can be very lonely and isolating because everyone is revising, they don't wanna go out, people don't wanna to talk to you because they're busy, and that can result in you getting in your own head and feeling that you're the only one feeling these feelings of stress, anxiety, everyone else seems to be getting on with their work, they're doing really well and it's just me and then the panic kicks in. So the best way that you could overcome this, like I said, is to stay connected. But it is revision time, so it is hard to do things socially. So instead, why not try and form a study group? And you could say that at least one hour of every day of your revision, you will spend with your study group. And this could be in person if you live close together, or it could be online. You could have a one hour session where you fire questions at each other to test each other. And therefore you are being productive with your revision, but you're having the chance to connect with other people so you don't feel quite as isolated. Now this also refers to the fact that you can reach out to friends, family members, or teachers. So if you are still feeling really anxious or overwhelmed, talk to someone that you trust about it. And talking it through with someone will straight away make the problem feel less big than it might feel currently. 
they might also be able to then support you, suggest any particular strategies, or just check in on you time to time to make sure that you are feeling okay. So definitely reach out and talk to people that you trust. And as a friend, make sure you're reaching out to your friends as well, checking in that they're feeling okay as well. Tip number four is procrastination. And I know this is gonna be a big issue for many people, Procrastination is really tough to avoid because let's face it, revision is boring, it goes on and on and on and you have to keep doing it until your exams. So the temptation to find lots of other things that you must do immediately is real. But the downside is spending all that time procrastinating means less time for revision and then when you come to sit down to do your revision again you can start to panic and feel anxious because you've realised you've wasted lots of time doing things you didn't need to do and now you don't have enough time to work. Now it is difficult to avoid procrastination but there are some things that you can do to make it less tempting to procrastinate. And number one is avoid social media. You can do things like lock your phone away while you're revising, or there's loads of different apps that you can use that actually shut down social media during specified times of the day. So you could try something like that. Or you can make sure you're just in your revision on paper, for example, and don't even have any electronics in the room. But those are the biggest distractions mobile phone, social media. So if you want to reduce your stress, shut those away for dedicated times while you are revising. Now also to help you to overcome procrastination, set yourself specific goals. And this links back to number one where we said stay organized. Set yourself a particular set of goals you want to achieve each day and have a little reward ready at the end of each day. So if you have achieved and ticked off everything on your list, you then get your reward. Whether that is allowing yourself to watch an episode of your favorite tv show or a particular nice snack whatever it is have your rewards ready tip number five is changing your mindset it is really easy to slip into negative thoughts about yourself instead of focusing on the negatives try and reframe your thoughts in a more positive light so for example instead of thinking i'm going to fail this exam if you feel that thought creeping into your head actively stop and talk to yourself either out loud or in your head and say no instead I have tried my hardest I've done my best I will be able to do the best I can in this exam trying your best is all that you can do so make sure you keep telling yourself that whenever the negative thoughts creep in confirm with yourself I have done the hard work that is all I can do. Remember, self-talk like that can be really powerful and have a great impact on your behavior and emotions. So keep talking to yourself. And whenever you have those negative thoughts, tell those negative thoughts off and swap them for a more positive thought. Another technique that lots of people have started to use and it has been proven to be effective is visualization. So for example, visualize yourself in the exam, let's say paper one, AQA paper one, visualize yourself in that exam room. You are opening the paper, you're skipping straight to the back, looking at those last questions where it's a long answer questions. You're visualizing that it is questions that you feel confident on, bullet pointed the answer and you've banked those marks straight away. Then you're going to the front, answering the exam questions, following all the techniques we've talked about. Doing this sort of thing, visualization has been proven that when you then get into that situation, you feel more in control because you've already thought through what is going to happen and therefore you get on with your plan and you usually perform better. So try some of these visualization techniques where in the exam you are in control and you know what strategies you're going to follow. So that is it, the top five strategies to help you manage your exam stress and anxiety. But remember what works for you might be different for someone else so don't try and copy anyone else and if it doesn't work for you don't panic try a different strategy and you will find something that will start to help you to manage those overwhelming feelings so be kind to yourself trust in the strategies and the best of luck with your revision and exams and i'll see you in a few days time